Hello everyone, today I'd like to share with you my flight simulator setup. The flight simulator is a perfect place to go to to practice certain maneuvers, uh, processes and procedures uh, for the days when it's not the best time to fly, when, when it's really windy or snowy like it is right now. So sit back, relax, and uh, let me share with you my flight simulator setup. So SciTech switch panel uh, very closely resembles either a Cessna 172, 182, but also has the gear up, gear down for other planes that do have retractable gear. But uh, your master switches, your left, right uh, magnetos, on both, uh, as well as all your uh, lights and fuel pumps and so on and so forth. Precision flight controls, Cirrus yoke. It's a uh, very solid, uh, very precise yoke. Uh, it doesn't do full 90 degree deflection as your typical Cessna does, but I just didn't feel like paying uh, <laughs> a lot of money for the uh, Cessna yoke just for those extra few degrees. So that'll have to do. But it does have a bunch of uh, up and down buttons that can be programmed as well as the um, buttons in the back. I use the left one as you typically would for the ATC and then uh, pause and play and this is my uh, trim up and down. Another thing that's included with the Cirrus yoke is a throttle but I don't actually use it as a throttle, I use it as a uh, uh, carb heat. Moving on to a precision flight control setup. What I opted for is a, a full vernier controls, again to simulate and mimic uh, a very realistic uh, Cessna 172 and 182 configuration where you have your throttle with uh, and up the twists to tighten it or loosen it just like you typically would see it on a Cessna as well as a um, prop control you can by pressing a button it locks it in place you can do small adjustments by twisting it right or left and mixture same same idea push button locks it in place and then you can advance it or calibrate it by small adjustments but we're rot rotating it left and right. This also has a rudder trim and another button you can set up to do whatever it is you want it to do. Landing gear up and down for other planes that do have that option and your uh, flaps control flaps up and flaps down. This brings us to MFG crosswind rudder pedals. I would say they probably one of the best pedals on the market uh, for what they are and uh, for the price. They're very adjustable. Uh, you can adjust the angle of how your feet sit on top of the pedals. You can make them more flat. You can make them sit up more depending on what you're trying to accomplish. Uh, they are also width adjustable too. So you can put them closer or make them wider depending on your preferences. And your typical controls where you have your dual brakes, left and right, and your left rudder and right rudder. What I also use is Track IR. For those of you who don't know what Track IR is, it's basically a small camera that mounts on top of the monitor. Then I wear this cap with three sensors uh, on it, and uh, it monitors my head position. And what, what this does is it translates my movements on my head to the cockpit inside the simulator. So as you move your head left and right, up and down, same thing happens basically inside the cockpit. It makes, makes it much more realistic uh, as, as you're flying uh, the pattern or something along those lines or trying to select the proper uh, switch to turn on or off. So there you go, a quick overview of my flight simulator setup. If you have any specific questions, I'd like to know more about each piece that I showed you before, uh, or you'd like to know more about the computer that I run, my uh, flight simulator software on, please do ask, uh, post your comments below. See you next time when I go flying again.